Hello YouTubers, this is John, also known as Big Funky Chicken, and today I've been requested to make a tutorial for how to overclock the AMD A63400M that can be found in um, many laptops today. So I'm going to start by opening a web browser. I'm going to use um, Firefox Aurora, and you want to go to sites.google.com slash site slash k10 stat okay and then go to this download link right here it'll be k10 stat 154.zip download that open up open the file up in any program you want that can extract zip files and extract it into a folder wherever you want i have chosen my desktop it really doesn't matter okay and once you have that double click on the k10 stat executable file and it will open up this and it should look just like this okay what you want to go is into the p-state tab and then change the profile to profile two three four or five not one you want one to be like your default just your backup one okay now you want to you want to change all the settings to what ha i have first of all you want to change the up and down in milliseconds to zero then you want to change all of these, this is your boost. These are your normal. Okay, so that is the highest it goes without the boost, and that is the lowest it goes without the boost. That's the idle state. But this is the boost, and that's why it's so far above all the other ones. What you want to do is change all these settings to the same. I'll explain this in the best way possible, the easiest way possible. This, the DID here, it's kind of like the, the wide range of different um, clock speeds, and then this fine tunes to a certain clock speed. So you want to use that and kind of experiment with it. Most of them are threes. You have one, then two, and then threes, and P6 is a four. So, and then just kind of figure that out by yourself. But you might want to pause the video for a second and look at these speeds right here and use the same speeds. Remember that you have to click the bullet to change the speeds. Okay, once you finish that, I would change, I would, personally, I would change the voltage to what I have. It's a little over what you need, but you can never be too safe because I've gotten the blue screen of death multiple times from this. If you do get the blue screen of death, just restart your computer, change the clock speed to, a, I mean, change the voltage to a bit higher, or maybe the clock speed to a bit lower, and um, hit apply, and it should be good. But once you, once you change all of these, select the bullet and change the, um, CPU voltage right here change it to exactly what I have nothing different then you can make sure all of these autos are selected none of these you do not want that and make sure boost is checked and then hit apply okay then hit okay and you are pretty much done if you want you can download a program called CPU Z you can find it on www.cpuid.com and um, it will tell you your your speeds and if you had a, if you have dual monitors like I do, it's pretty helpful when you're playing a game because you can check out your speed, your processor speed at the moment. This processor is pretty powerful. I could open a couple instances of Photoshop and I would still be pretty good. So it doesn't really help with gaming at all, but it's in the Windows Experience Index. It made my this is out of a 7.9. It made my um, processor rating go from a 6.5 to a 6.8. So it jumped up a couple. Um, decimal points and so that it, it it's better you know it's pretty cool so thank you for watching good luck with this and don't forget to comment rate and subscribe